Well, now that we saved the day, let's let's check out on what's going on here. I feel like there's somebody we should talk to for some reason. Don't mind me. Oh, by the way, I should probably mention that we're in the Jefferson Memorial, where Project Purity is. I know it's a different location from the end of the last video, but um, we got some side quests to accomplish. Also, look at these nerds. Think I might just not show up. All these books and audio logs. What are you looking at? So what if a Whoa! Water I think his books just freaked out for a second. Ah, uh, yep. Oh man, that would suck. I have to carry that. That those those logs should like fall off. Whatever. I need to talk to this boy. Gotta hand it to you, kid. That was a brave thing you did, risking your life to start the purifier. But do you know, you've made my life a living hell. I'm guessing not. The hero of the wasteland probably has more important things to worry about. Don't you? Excuse me, I'm Bigsley, and I'm just a tad stressed out. Perhaps you saw that little line outside my door? Everyone was so excited about that purifier. Project Purity this, and Project Purity that. But did anyone stop to ask, Hey, what are we gonna do with all that clean water? Well, guess who gets to fill in that tiny detail? It, 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 it'd be one thing if I had support, but that, that little war with the Enclave has depleted much of the Brotherhood's resources. And to top it off, I have to be mommy to a bunch of lab coats. Really? Well, yeah, there's plenty of things I need help with. But most of it's pushing papers and knocking sense into giant eggheads. A task for any acolyte, really. I'm sure I could put your experience and talents to far better use. Well, I've got Rivet City water caravans needing help with some uh, unusually organized bandits. Need someone to go investigate what that's all about. And then there's Megaton. They want more Aqua Pura. I just sent a shipment to them. Need someone to go visit Megaton and see what their problem is. I don't know what to think. I got lions breathing down my neck about it, though. Apparently, Megaton's sending him nasty letters demanding a shipment. I just sent them a week's supply. A month's if they ration. Look, if you can straighten out Megaton so I get lions off my back, I'll make it worth your while. Really? Oh, that's great. Uh, I'm sorry I can't offer you any support in this. All our resources are uh, tied up at the moment. Good luck. Oh, and uh, of course I'll have a little something for your efforts, if you're successful. Yeah, stay safe out there. Don't get me started about Rivet City. They feel entitled to everything. Always whining about how they're our scientists and all that crap. Like they did us a favor. Thought the security deal we'd worked out with them would be you know, a win-win. And my hope was they'd completely take over the water caravan escorts by now. But I got Officer Le Pelletier bitching about an organized bandit syndicate. Guess they don't have the chops after all. I need you to go visit Officer Le Pelletier and lend a hand. Great. Hopefully you can get them straightened out. We really can't do this without them. I think I... I might just close my eyes for a moment or two. Hi. Hi. Oh, I was on that, the desk the whole time. <laughs> well, <clears throat> so we just picked up a couple quests. Honestly, I feel you, man. All of a sudden, you have all this responsibility and work and people to deal with but also you have one job and your job is to make sure things go smoothly you're basically a receptionist receptionist reception Re reception receptionist huh kind of kind of the, the role you're taking at this moment honestly well so it sounds like he's a little more important than that involving uh I'm, I'm, I'm going to do Holy Water first, by the way, and then we'll do Protect the Waterways. And then we have one more after that. Uh, yeah, these are the three side quests. 
of the uh, DLC. There's a bug on my mic. But yes. honestly, dude. H hi? Have you heard about that new cult? What? They took our water. Here, read this. It's one of their pamphlets. Cult taking the water? What kind of shenanigans is this? Good people make it on your relations at hand. We only apostolates turn a light to heal this wounded city. Cleansing holy water. Springvale. I think that's a podcast. Night in Springvale? I don't know, my friend uh, keep, keeps mentioning it because it's like a creepy, kind of horror podcast. I've been meaning to check it out, honestly. Okay, well, uh. Ah, jeez. I've played this... Oh. Oh, well, let's just fast travel there, I guess. Uh, no, it's Welcome to Night Gale. Night Vale. My bad. I haven't listened to it yet. <laughs> I've been meaning to. But it's apparently got a, kind of a creepy undertone. <clears throat> it's in, like, the style of, like, newscasting or something. That, uh... Tells a hidden... Secrets. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, this place looks new. Weary traveler, welcome to the Monastery of the Apostles of the Eternal Light. Oh, but you must be parched from your travels. Yet please, accept this gift. Holy water, blessed by our order. We must drink deep of the water of light, so that it may sanctify our tongues and render us purified for discourse. Oh. Okay. Let's drink. Oh, something just fell. This holy water. Wait a second. This is rads. I can see the glint of Adam's light in your eyes. You have purified your tongue with the holy water. So now we may speak. How may this servant of the eternal light serve you? No, no, ours is a modest order. But our ranks are growing slowly as others hear our words and are enlightened. As our luminescent mother says, where others walk only in the dying waste, we offer the path of eternal light. And to spread goodwill, we offer this holy water to any and all supplicants. Stop helping the needy? I don't think so. And even if I did, it's not my decision to make. Blessing of the holy water is overseen by Mother Curie the Third, our luminescent mother, and she's far too busy to speak with outsiders. I'm afraid it is not open to the unenlightened. Your presence would contaminate our great works. However, if you are willing to be baptized in Adam's holy light, then perhaps I could allow you to enter and meet our leader. Yes, call it what you will. We simply will not allow any who do not bear the light. Make your way to our tabernacle, pilgrim. Pray to Adam to fill you with holy radiance. Bask in the glow of Adam's eternal light. I'm sorry, but I must insist. You simply cannot be allowed on holy ground without knowing Adam's light. Where you see radiation, we see humanity's salvation. And we can hardly allow the unsaved into our holy monastery now, can we? You may supplicate to Adam your desire for enlightenment at our tabernacle. All may bask in the eternal light. All may be filled with the glow. Our luminescent mother went to meditate outside of the city. And as she wandered in a trance, she was visited by Adam's angels of war. These angels brought her aqua pura. Water so pure, so pristine, and so unsullied that she knew it would make the perfect vessel for Adam's glow. Since that day, she has busied herself consecrating Adam's pure water into the waters of light. No, it's full of Adam's light. It's a tragedy that not everyone is prepared to accept enlightenment, but such are the ways of the divine. Besides, we never force anyone to drink it. We simply give the opportunity to those who thirst for something more. Ah, the apostles of the eternal light were first introduced to the majesty of Adam's glow by the holy teachings of Confessor Cromwell. 
and we were content to stay in Cromwell's church until Adam gave a vision unto our luminous mother. She learned that Adam did not call for division, that sundering which drives us apart. Adam calls for enlightenment, the warmth which feeds us. For it is only through Adam's supreme and total enlightenment that we may attain salvation in eternal light. I'm sorry, but I... May Adam light your... Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not irradiating myself just to get in here. So, uh, I think this this feels like an origin story for the children of Adam in uh, later games, if you know about them. But I gotta, I gotta put a stop to this because they take purified water, add radiation back into it, and then give it away. And I will kill all of you if that's what it takes. Oh my, I wasn't expecting a pilgrim to our shrine. We're hardly prepared for casual visitors, I'm afraid. You must have made quite an impression on Brother Gerard. He's a lovely boy, but rather strident. I hope he wasn't a bother. Oh, but where are my manners? I'm Mother Curie III, and I lead the Apostles of the Eternal Light. What can I do for you, my dear? Yes. If you wanted some, I'm sure that Brother Gerard would have gladly given you a bottle or two. We don't charge for charity, you know. Don't be silly. How else will we spread the word to the unenlightened? So many misunderstand Adam and fear the glow of his light as a thing of destruction, rather than humanity's next step toward perfection. With this marvelous holy water, they drink without fear, and by the time the glow consumes them, they have no need to fear ever again. You judge what you do not understand. By introducing them to Adam's light, we are saving them from a life of misery. I suppose it's a fair question. <sighs> ever since I was a girl, I knew I was destined for something special. I always resisted the feeling, oh, me, special. But one day I fell asleep during one of the confessor's sermons, and I had a dream. A dream of the prophet of Adam, ablaze with holy light. He told me of my destiny, of my mission. I was called to service. And I answered. The only being able to convince me I was wrong would be the prophet of Adam himself. We're doing holy work here, tending to the suffering and hopeless. Our holy water gives warmth to those who would only die unsaved otherwise. Ah, <gasps> tsk, tsk. Such a shame it had to come to this. I'm out of here. Over here. Well, where? That's unfortunate. I tried, but I guess diplomacy has failed. So, time to put an end to this cult. I didn't want to do this. I'm all about religious freedom and everything. But when you're actively harming people like this, nah. That's that's gonna stop. And unfortunately, you can't irradiate people if you're a pile of goo on the floor. So, sorry about that, Curie. Which is interesting because that's actually the name of a character. Uh, let me go a little closer of a oh carbonation of a uh, companion in Hello Four. Wow. Ooh. Sometimes the carbonation burns going back up. Lots of purified water. Not interested, but I do have a level up. And so just about everything's at 90. I'm not going to get science or big guns because, like I said, 
with big guns there's a book egg and cheese also there's a bobblehead for big guns and science that i totally forgot about it is science right i have a list to keep track of it yeah and everything else is at 90 so i will get actually where is i'll max out lock picking just for the heck of it and then get you to 90 you to 90 there we go. Everything's at, at least 90. Big guns, like I said. I'm not worried about it. Uh, no. Let's see. Repair? Sure. Uh, science isn't useful at this point unless it's at 100 again. I'm not going to worry about that. I will get that up. Just to get these up. And then books and whatnot will carry them the rest of the way. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. So I noticed I was just on the cusp of leveling up, so earlier I went, did a thing, saved, did a thing, leveled up, see what perks I had to choose from, and I have decided that I want, uh, where is it, solar powered. I spent some time in the sunlight, actually, yeah, yeah, why not, and it's totally regenerates health, um, a lot of these other perks I don't really care about. And they seem the most useful depending on situations. I know the nighttime probably would have been just as well, probably even better considering it works indoors, but hey. So be it. Well, we have officially destroyed a cult. Religious sect cult. Look what we have. Here. Yeah. Last uh Loose tie. Loose tie? Loose end to tie up. And with that, they're all done. Is the quest complete or do I have to? Yeah, I have to report back to Bigsby. Okay, fine. Well, holy water is basically complete. I shut that cult down. After all, diplomacy didn't work, so guns will. One way or another, you're going down. Oh, almost killed a thousand creatures. No, nope. actually, uh, I was about to say that sh that would be like an achievement, but in reality, if anyone's played New Vegas, good game by the way, good game. Uh, there's things. <clears throat> excuse me. There's challenges, which you get XP for completing, like you know, pass this many checks or kill this many of these guys or do this or that. Excuse me. Hey, wait, he's asleep. Yes. Cult. There's something about Megaton, isn't there? It's apparently the place to start a cult these days. Hmm. Guess I can start sending them water again. Hopefully, they can keep their grubby hands on their shipments this time. Here. It's not much. Most of the assets have been exhausted, but take this. It's definitely worth getting lions off my back. <laughs> Thanks. We don't actually get a lot of experience in completing the side quest here, which is, f I don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, which is kind of weird considering the huge amount of experience the, the story quests give from this DLC. Which, by the way, that uh, mission, Protect the Waterways, and the next mission after that that I'm going to be doing are all from this, this DLC. Broken Steel DLC, so technically still in the DLC. But next, we gotta head to Rivet City to uh, make sure the shipments go as smoothly as possible. <laughs> 